Hi Moglets, after more requests than I can count, as well as a poll where almost 50% of you out of 5 different characters voted for Jean, we are going to be raising her today. I already got her up to level 20 just to see what she needed, um, and I realized we're going to need to farm some dandelion seeds. Probably some other stuff as well, but um, we're just going to start with getting her as high as we can right now. Going to 40, ascending, going to 50, ascending. We are all out of uh, Hero's Wit, so we gotta use some of these blue ones now. Hopefully we don't waste too much XP. No, that's actually not bad. And there's 60. I think now we need to already go and farm some dandelion seeds. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff real quick. Raise her talents a little bit. I know Jean's been out since the launch of the game, but I'm still am not sure exactly how she works. I usually just learn as I go. Nice big multiplier on her burst, though. We're gonna raise that. We probably have quite a few books that... Uh, we don't need. Yeah, we have a ton of those. So we can get her skills up to at least, well, max for now. I guess even her basic. Maybe we can try making a main DPS gene. Maybe physical, because I don't think she does any element damage with her basic. We're not going to do much else till she is at least 70, maybe 80. We'll see how many dandelion seeds we need. Bones will also be joining us for this farming session. Hello, Bones. I do believe we will also need a few more of the... Uh, Wind Hippo. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that once while we're here. Let's see if we can kill him here. Uh, well, maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, we could. Now we just gotta get the orbs. Okay, Bones got that one down there, and... Alright. Oh no, Bones. Alright. As far as I know, we don't need to farm it that much more, because I was farming it over the weekend. Uh, what do we got here? Alright. Nothing special. Yeah, it looks like there are only 50 or so in the world, so probably going to have to uh, join Bones World to uh, grab some of hers as well. But all right, let's start over here. Uh, I see some over there. Was that it? I felt like there was a lot more here, but I only found like maybe seven or six or something. Dandelion seeds are actually really annoying to farm because they're so spread out over the entire Mondstadt area. Well, it looks like we can ascend her a little bit more, up to 70. I would really like to get her to 80. Uh, we'll see if that works out. We are running a little low on XP books as well. Well, 80 should still work for the XP books, but... Uh, yeah, okay, 25 more dandelion seeds shouldn't be a huge issue, as well as two more cube runs. Bones is looking for me. Get the wind crystals, bone! Alright, yeah, I think we got them. What do we got? Bad. And two of those. Doesn't matter, we need four. Needed four, now we need two. So we had to do two runs regardless. Five more to go. Bones. Over here, bones. Thank you. Last wind hippo here. Uh oh. Uh, okay, Thank thankfully, bones carried. <laughs> What do we got here? Meh. All right, we should have enough of those. Let's see if we can get her to 80 without any complications here. Where are you, Jean? Actually crawling up there in my uh, list. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Need some chunks as well as some masks. Let's use these to start off with, see if we got enough. I think we needed like seven or something. Or no, we need six or no, I think we need nine. Well, we have 34 geos, so we're going to just grab a couple of those just in case we need them. And then we also need some Hillichurl masks. We have quite a lot of those, so I'm just going to go ahead and make some. All right, Jean. Let's see what you got. Ascend. Fifth star. A little bit of wasted XP there. Not really a big issue. All right. Now we, I guess we got to build her a little bit. But how to build her? Uh, let's take a look at constellations first, see when I'm gonna god mode her. C2 would be really nice for the attack speed boost. So yeah, probably C2, but for now, we are going to build her as best we can. We have a few swords to choose from here. Uh, Primordial Jade Cutter, Skyward Blade, and Mist Splitter. Probably gonna go Primordial Jade for now. Sorry, Kazuha. Oh yeah, we need to finish raising her talents as well. I'm gonna at least get them all up to six, maybe a little higher. Again, I am gonna try her as a main DPS, which is why we're raising her basic as well. And yeah, we have a ton of these, so I definitely don't mind going a little higher. I don't think we have that many extra, but we're gonna use what we got. Yeah, we can make five more. 
I guess we'll go Dandelion Breeze to seven. So now I gotta learn how she works. Okay, so Jean's normal attacks are what can heal the team. 15% of her attack for all party members. Using Dandelion Breeze will regenerate 20% of his energy. Okay, so that's essentially like what having a lower energy cost. Talents like those are actually really good for like uh, Raiden Shogun because Shogun will get the full 80 energy cost of Resolve, but uh, uh, Jean will be able to do her burst faster. So her burst is also a healing thing, which also scales off of attack. I think I got it more or less. And then Gale Blade, of course. Um, I know this one because I was trying her with uh, Klee's little bombs, which was pretty awesome. Uh, it'll basically just suck everything you know, in, in a little area together. I think first of all, we're just gonna build her as I would assume animos are built, like I built my Kazuha and Vinti, uh, basically with the Viridescent set. And then I focus quite a bit on attack for the substats, so let's see what she's rocking. Oh, not a ton of attack, but I guess a lot of that does come down to Primordial Jade Cutter having pretty low base. Create to create damage ratio is fine. I wasn't really focusing on her healing abilities, but we'll give that a look-see just built as a general dps uh, i think she's pretty much done ready to try out a little bit though i'm gonna see if uh, bones wants to stay she has a really interesting charge attack though <laughs> uppercut go ahead bones let's show them what we can do give me some bombs yeah here we go <laughs> That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try it on some enemies. So I guess we're gonna do some ley lines here. <laughs> oh, that actually did a decent amount of damage there. 20k. All right, uh, let's try and pull these bombs together. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, got got a bomb to fetch. Boom. Let's try her burst. Uh. All right, so I think if they enter or oh wait, let's grab these bombs, throw them over there. <laughs> that was actually pretty fun. I gotta say, I didn't really see what her burst did, and 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 also the passive healing. Uh, I would need to check that out. Okay, well if you're just gonna use Venti bones, that that's kind of that's kind of pointless. Twenty-six <laughs> k, I think I saw there. Well, can we hit them all like this? Oh yeah, we can. All right. So they can work together, I guess. Oh yeah, just tapping it also does quite a lot. So she's obviously not really built like a healer. I guess I would just be stacking as much attack as possible. But uh, so our Hutao is currently at 13,836. Let's just go ahead and uh, smack around these guys a little bit. Ow. Does that also heal herself? Says a fifth. Oh, okay, I saw a 379 there. 379. I mean, th that is like passive healing. Let's check out her burst as well. Let's just go ahead and do it here. Oh, wow. So she's fully healed. My Hu Tao. Okay, so it does like a burst of healing, and then you can see she is still getting healed. Now it's gone. Let's pull all these guys together real quick. Just bop. Really a good amount of damage, honestly. Of course, her E does come with some other utility as well. I just want to tap it once real quick. Yeah, about the same, honestly. So if you don't specifically want to gather a bunch of enemies together, you can just tap it. Like versus a single enemy or a boss or something. And see ya. Well, my Klee isn't as good as Bones Klee is, but we're going to give this a try. So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that works pretty good. Or, well, whatever. Bring all these bombs together, even though I think most of them already exploded. 33k from her burst there. That's actually not bad. I mean, let's try both. Both bombs. Lots of bombs around. Oh, no. They, well, there we go. If my Klee was better, that probably would have done some decent damage. Well, basically, the only thing I'm going to do to make her more of a main DPS is swap this out for a physical damage bonus and get a Cryo in there for Superconduct. Uh, so let's first check out the physical damage cup we're going to use. We have five to choose from. I'm probably going to go for this one because it has a good amount of crit damage on it. They're all pretty solid, though, actually. Let's just go for uh, Rosarius here. Do we actually even stick with uh, Viridescent in this case then? I mean, 
When she's gonna be our main DPS, then we don't really need element res decreased anyway. Pretty sure I have a decent pale flame set we can check out. And uh, this should work pretty well because her E has a very short cooldown when you just tap it. We have a little too much crit right now. And her attack is still so low. I don't I don't really understand why that's so low. Uh, I guess it just really could be because of the weapon. Oh, she has an energy recharge sands. That'll do it. Yeah, a little over 2,000. I would still like a little higher, but now our crit rate is even higher. I definitely have a crit damage circlet, but apparently like no crit damage anywhere else. Nope, just a bunch of crit rate, I see. Maybe we can go a different sword then, like Miss Splitter. She won't ever be able to have the third stack, but still just for the base stats, I think we, I, I think I wanna try it. Yeah, I think that's better than it was before at least. Oh, actually I just realized that was basically with no buffs as well. We obviously can't use our C6 Binny for physical gene, but we could have used it, you know, to test out her E and ult damage. Can use Sara, however, which is good because we need Cryo anyway. And I guess, I don't know, we're just gonna throw Chi Chi in there. That is a bizarre team. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Got some more daily quests to do. Let's see if any of them involve fighting. That one I know, I know doesn't, but let's check up here. We're just gonna start with Zhongli shield here. Go to her. Oh wait, now Chi Chi has the boost, whatever. They should be super conducted. There was a 14K charge there. Not bad, not bad. And I don't even have any miss, well, I think the miss splitter stacks are for her like element damage or whatever. So doesn't really help her physical prowess, but also I need to do it for the pale flame stacks anyway, so. There, 15k? Yeah, these guys are too weak to really like get a full setup going though, unfortunately. So we'll have to hope one of our other daily quests are better or we can like head to Abyss. I think that has reset by now. Ah, it's just slime balloon. I don't think there's even damage numbers popping up. Oh yeah, there is, but can it even be super conducted? We'll just do this one to finish off the daily quests. Burb. I think for first half, we're just gonna go with the exact team we were just trying. All right, let's give this a try. So, okay, well, they're all a little spread out now, which is a, little, which is a bit annoying, but let's just start with her. Uh, go do Sara's E and then burst. Oh, I forgot to get a shield for Zhongli. Let's just do her burst real quick. Uh, do that, start basic attacking. Yeah, it's not horrible actually. You know, we're getting some four to six Ks in there. This guy is not super conducted. Let's just start the uh, thing over again. Do one of those to get some pale flame bonuses going. Yeah, it's a little annoying because they're all so spread out. Okay, I'm just getting frozen constantly now. Let's just do her burst to get out of here. Sara's not the best with this when there are so many enemies. Official or something would have been better, I guess. Okay, now we have some of these guys. Uh, I, why do I keep getting frozen? Yeah, that was uh, definitely not the most smooth. Oh, wow, there's more. I don't know if we'll even be able to three-star this. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would specifically go physical gene, actually. All right, well, let's try it on this big guy here. I'm gonna do that, then that, then that, then that. Well, we got a 19K there. Oh, and she can, oh, she can, she, she can do like the, the Klee thing where she just knocks these massive guys around. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. I don't know if he's still super conducted. I think he's almost dead though also, so there we go. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> well, we did it. Even so, I gotta say I'm a little bit less impressed with physical gene. Might just be because her uh, skills aren't super high yet. But I think I would still prefer to go Animogene and use her as more of a support. Maybe slash sub DPS slash healer. But yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts. I think at C2, she becomes uh, a lot more interesting, which is probably when I will uh, quote unquote God mode her. That might take a while, honestly, because I had just gotten my first gene, like one of the last recent banners. I have a C5 Kaching, so if it would you know, start giving me jeans instead of ka then yeah. But that'll do it for today. Leave any thoughts in the comments, liking or subscribing. If you enjoyed the content, it's always greatly appreciated. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.